just like that, the Patriots only trail the Bills by a half game in the division. New England has won three in a row, and FPI now gives them a 58% chance to reach the playoffs. They will host the Browns next week in Foxborough, where surprisingly, the Patriots are one and four this season. Patriots linebacker Matthew Judon joining us on Sports Center. Matthew, one and four at home. Why the issues at Gillette? Uh, you know, if we play the laws of average, that just means we do it for some wins. But honestly, we uh, just got to play better. And, uh, you know, they, they've been close losses. So we just got to do the small things so we make sure we come out on top at home. Uh, well, you did some of the small things and big things yesterday. You got another sack. You're tied for second in the league with nine. How have you been so successful getting to the quarterback? Oh, man, uh, it's a lot of hard work, uh, dedication, uh, just taking the time and working on my craft. But uh, honestly, uh, uh, my teammates have been helping me out, man, uh, and my coaches. Uh, we watch, watch film, film study, and all that good stuff and just – just uh, sparking when I read my keys and uh, <clears throat> and just getting the quarterback down on the ground, man. That's usually the toughest thing. It'll be a, you get a lot of pressures, a, a lot of hits and hurries, uh, but somehow the quarterback just seems to get the ball off. But right now, I'm just getting them on the ground, and uh, you know I'm, I'm truly uh, blessed right now. What what goes through your mind once you do get them on the ground? You know, Selly, do my Selly, man. It's like it's like getting in the end zone. Uh, an offensive skill player, you know, all his work I didn't did pass rushing this whole game. I finally got a sack, man. So you know, got to do it, got to do it myself. So, so how how would you describe your post sack celebration? Uh, fun, quick, you know, uh, get up out of there, and then you know, uh, and then celebrate with your teammates, obviously. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just something I do. I read a story where your wife wanted you to change your celebration just a bit. What was that all about? Uh, nah, she was, she was just asking why. She kind of asked me the same question, why I do the same thing every time. And then Mark, uh, actually, Mark Ingram told me, he was like, man, just, just stick with one celebration. Because I used to do a lot. I used to do a whole bunch of dancing and stuff. I love dancing. But uh, Mark Ingram was like, man, you just got to find one you like and stick to it. And it's going to become, uh, you know, like kind of your trademark or, or what you do. And uh, and that's what I kind of settled on. And then now, every time I get a sack, uh, I try to get up and do it. Now, I, I know the wife is always right, but has she left you alone about changing your, your celebration at all? Now she's just telling me to get more sack. So uh, <laughs> I think we good. So, uh, you know, she left me alone about that. And she found something else to uh, tell me to get better at. You know, I'm, I'm not surprised because they always do. Uh, <laughs> there, there was a moment in yesterday's win over Carolina when you gave some advice to your teammate, J.C. Jackson. Take us on the field and detail that moment for us. Uh, the Panthers uh, got a little bit of momentum. They was driving. And uh, J.C. kind of was just like, man, well, we got a TV timeout or an injury timeout maybe. And J.C. was like, man, we just got to get off the field. And uh, it kind of it kind of happened when he got his pick six uh, that they was driving again, and he and he came up with the picks. So I was like, bro, last time uh, they was driving, what'd you do? You got us out the field. You got a pick. Go get another. And uh, that's what he did. And uh, you know, I we was just talking, you know, teammate banter back and forth. But you know, that's all JC man. He uh he got a nose for the, nose for the ball. And I think he would have got to pick whether I talked to him or I didn't talk to him. That's just uh, what type of player he is. He just comes up with the ball. You left Baltimore. Now you're in the first of a four-year deal with New England. But you admit you, you didn't have the best first impression of the Patriots. What was your first impression? Um, nah, so coming over, I had a great impression. But, uh, you know, uh, as a Raven, I didn't like the Patriots. And, uh, you know, as a Patriot, I don't like the Ravens, the team. I like the players. Those those are my guys. But I don't like the team. And that's just how it is, man. Uh, you know, my loyalty uh, has to lie with the team I'm on. And uh, that's the Patriots. And so that's that's what it is. But uh, it's, as far as, like, the locker room and stuff, 
I didn't know anybody in the Patriots locker room when I first got in the league. I really didn't know anybody coming from a small school. And, uh, you know, Sears and those guys just took me under their wing. And that's what I learned. I learned we don't like the Patriots. And so uh, that's that's just how I was raised. And then it just so happens that, you know, the Patriots uh, like my style of play. And I, I was a, a free agent and uh, I came and signed here. And when I got over here, I understood uh, the type of culture uh, that that it, it takes to be a player for the Patriots. And um, so, you know, I embraced it. Uh, I dove head first into uh, the culture, the team, the locker room, uh, the organization. And now uh, I'm just having fun, just uh, playing and going out there with my teammates, uh, win, lose, or draw. Like uh, we, we gen genuinely like each other in the locker room. Well, it's working. You guys are five and four over 500 for the first time this season. You have Cleveland next week. What are your initial thoughts on that matchup? Uh, that's a good football team. Uh, offense, defense, special team is a really uh, good, solid football team. Uh, very physical, uh, and you know they can they can run the ball. They can uh, spread you out. Uh, they can pass, and so uh, we just got to come uh, prepared to play uh, and on our p's and q's, uh, and you know just take it one game at a time and to make sure we don't overlook anything. Because uh, that's a good, that's a really good football team. Looking forward to seeing it. Matthew Judon, appreciate your time. All the best to you the rest of the season. Thanks, bro. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.